Hi guys, it's JJ for Yoden Zai. Um, today I'm going to show you how I measure my wire out. Um, I don't know if it'll be helpful to you, but just want to show you guys how I do it. And I do this whether I'm making a wall mounted tree, a sun catcher, a tree with a base, whatever. It just it seems to be the most efficient way for me to do it. So first thing I do is I take clamps. These are rock clamps, clamps, so they're kind of nice, but you can also use whatever you want. Um, whatever clamps you have, just make sure that you protect yourself on the top so you're not, you don't scratch yourself and you know, you'll know, see what I mean. I have these little rubber fingers that sometimes I put over the top so I don't hurt myself. So I have measurements on my desk. They're kind of a guide. I don't really use them all that much. I just kind of wing it. So first thing I'm going to do is open my clamp. Okay. Put it on my desk. So that's one, that's two, and I'm going to be doing a ring tree today, so I'm going to make it about, I don't know, 30% bigger than that ring. So you can see here's my ring, and I'm actually going to go a little bit bigger than that. So i got my clamps spread about this far, but this is my ring, so my wire is going to come out to the ends of here. So, show what I do. Take my big roll. This tree is going to have a brown base. I'm going to take it and I'm just going to wrap it around here a little bit and then I'll go around my clamps like that. So I'm going to go around um, as many times as I can. I'm going to give you a little bit of a better view, I think. So I'm going to go around until I'm done, until I count out as many as I need. Um, so with that, we're going to fast forward a bit. Okay. So I have gone around this 70 times, which is going to give me 140 pieces of wire. So the next thing I'm going to do is take my cutters. I got these ones. I just like to use these ones better. I have more heavy duty ones, but I don't know. This doesn't work for me that well. So I'm going to cut off the edge. Slide that over. Put my hand in the middle. Slide them up and off like that. And then I'm going to go here and I'm going to cut across here. Like I said, I do this every time. It makes it much easier than measuring out every single piece one by one. And I like to be efficient if at all possible. Because I do sell these, and sometimes they sell pretty quick, so it's always good to have more. Okay. So then, I'm just going to kind of open that a little bit, if it's okay. So, like that. And now I'm going to cut right there. Hi, Pink. I like using the smaller cutters better. Um, it just works for me better than the bigger ones. And my hands work better than the bigger ones. I have some major arthritis going on in my hands, so whatever's easier on them is the best thing. Okay, so now I have 140 pieces of wire. See, right there like that. And that's it. That's how you do it. And then from here, I'm just going to go with a little stretch twist to make the base. And that's my base. And then from here, I'll start to work on the roots and the rest of it. But that's it. I hope it helps. Have any questions, let me know.